Shoo! How's it going folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're doing a video that I've wanted to do for quite some time now, and we finally got blessed with some nice weather. It's not 14 trillion degrees out here. It is bright though. I forgot the old Mondos. Definitely should have got the old Mondos out here, but it's just Pool Jet and I. Why is it cloudy and sunny Shoo! at the same time? I like Why your hat. So I like your hat. I like this one. I like your shirt. What hat am I even wearing? My shirt and my hat are all available. Link down below, GuggenSquad.com, and you can use promo code for your 15% off all Beefcake merch now available. But as you guys can see, we are at the classic Walmart. Probably gonna kick, gonna get kicked out if we do. Well, today's gonna be a botch because today's video is going to be a survival challenge, and we are going to do a cheap versus expensive challenge. Meaning, one of us, either Pool Jet or myself, is gonna have $50, and the other person's gonna have $500 to go spend at Walmart to complete the survival challenge. So, in order to survive out in this world, you need four things, and four things only, believe it or not. You need food, you need water, you need fire, because that's your heat source, so you need that to survive, and you need shelter. So four things, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the $50, go in there and buy, you can't buy food, that's the only rule, so there's two rules, no food and no water. You cannot buy any food or any water with your money, no matter what you have, but you have to get all the tools that we're gonna take back to my house in order to complete the challenge of getting food, water, shelter, and fire. So with that being said, we're going to, um, we're gonna spin the wheel here. <laughs> Whoever this lands on gets the $500. Oh, God. Dollars. Okay. okay. Oh God, please be me. Oh rip. Oh, oh rip. I, I win. Oh rip. No, come on, keep going, keep going, keep no, going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You got screwed. No. <laughs> oh, oh, I should have said it the other way around. Dang it. I almost went with whoever gets the cheap. Oh. You get five. You get fi you get five hundred bucks now. Good luck. Oh man, I'm bu I'm bummed. I thought for sure I was gonna get out. Like, oh, this is gonna be easy peasy. Well, I'm gonna. You get it. You guys get to sit back and watch me be on the struggle bus today, cause I got fifty bucks and I have to be able to start fire, cook a meal, drink water, and build a shelter worthy of surviving in. So with that being said, we'll see you guys inside. All righty. So I am going first, folks. But. Look at this guy. This is a camping tool set, $28, 12 piece. Comes with everything you're gonna need. You're gonna have a little machete, which you can cut trees down and hack stuff down with it. It actually comes with a flashlight, fire starter, carabiners, little ax, and paracord, which is pretty much everything that you're gonna need, and batteries. Pretty much everything you're gonna need to survive for $28. So right there, that means I've got what, $12 and 57 cents. Wow, math is tough. $12.57 oh. left. You're missing a knife. Oh, you, you're short a knife also. You're kidding me. Who steals a knife? You gotta be kidding me. Am I allowed to buy that and then- In place of that? Yeah, is that fair? Is that That's cheating? Fair. Yeah, no, no. I, I, I mean, I who steals an, I didn't even realize. I was like, I why is there a weird empty room? space right there? So, okay. So it's supposed to come with this right yeah. here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this knife here in for a total of $28.43. And then I'm looking at like, what do I build? Now this has to be like a legit survival shelter. It can't just be sticks leaned up against a tree and call it a day. They have these emergency blankets for only $2.74, which these guys are 52 inches by 82 inches long. So they're actually pretty darn big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna buy, let's do four, so that's four, let's do five. I'm thinking I'm gonna build a tent out of these and then give me one to lay on. So what is five times $2.74? $13. Well, you, you can minus, round up to- Minus something. Uh, so I have like $9. Minus left. your 22. Yeah, $8. A $8 okay, so we have, eight, we have $8. You need to get water, $8. See, they have life straws, but they're 17 freaking dollars. We can't afford that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get one of these guys. I'll try boiling water in this. It? So minus four-ish dollars, right? 13 bucks, eight, eight dollars. So, eight. so, so let's just have four dollars left, okay. Yeah. All right, so I've got everything for shelter, water. I'm going to, oh, food, food, we gotta get food. So food, I'm gonna try to catch my own food, meaning we need hooks. I think that's gonna be the best bet is going after some little bluegills. Um, these are only a dollar, so I like that. Oh yeah, them little them little gill getters. So a dollar, so I've got, what, three dollars left now? Yeah. That was said? Three dollars, and you think, you think a spool of line? I mean, they're only two bucks, and then out of a dollar left. Or do I buy a jar of bait? That would be smart. You think you think a jar of bait yeah. would be smart? Like a something, or do they have live night crawlers here? Because I feel like that's not, I mean, granted, you could find night crawlers in nature, but me finding night crawlers doesn't really work that well. Oh, 370, oh, 
What did I have? I had $3 left? You had $3 left, yeah. I think that's it. Big red worms. Big red worms. Now, I know some of you guys are thinking, why would you spend your last $3 on something you go find in nature? This is going to guarantee me a fish catch. And you might be wondering, well, what are you going to use for line? You guys are going to stay tuned. I'm going to use paracord. But you guys will see how I design that later. So, anyways, that's pretty much it. That was 50 bucks Gone. Now it's up to pool jet. We got a little pool right. jet here, okay? I'm ready. He's, he's got 500 bucks to bull with, which is insane for a survival challenge because I feel like you literally, but you can't buy food and water. That's the thing. He's still going to have to catch something and cook it in order to survive and the water situation. So what do you, what are you thinking? So you're, you're going out surviving. You gotta have a place to stay. You got, you're telling me you don't like the emergency uh, blanket oh, no. idea that I've got? You know, I like having multiple rooms in my house. Oh, really? So I'm feeling the old 10 person modified dome tent. Oh, 10 person, 200. Look, I even, I even have a screen porch. I only have a screen porch at my apartment. <laughs> but you've got one I here. I got one in my tent, so you're, though. So you're buying a 10 person yeah. tent. Well, I have five it. emergency yeah. blankets. I am so mad that I lost this this challenge. I didn't lose the challenge, but I lost this because he gets to have way more fun than me. All right, so you've got the tent. I don't even so think I'm going to be able to put this together. That's, I was going to say, may to it may help, take it may take a little bit of practice right, to put that so. thing together. So you've got a tent. That's neat. What else do you need for sleep? arrangement since that's kind of in the um, section that we're in right well, now. So, so you've got 200 bucks. Oh, I'm, oh no, I'm, oh. I'm playing cheap. That's only 195. Oh, oh save on the five dollars as if you don't have an extra freaking 300 more dollars. Come Keep on, on. Then what? What are you, what are you so, doing? So I mean, you gotta have something to sleep on top of. So I'm thinking the old air mattress. Why did I lose this challenge? Why? So you're getting an air mattress. A lot of options on air. So mattress that way you'll be comfy. Well. Okay. What, what what are you feeling? But I'm, I'm thinking 17 dollars. Oh yeah. Really. Feel full. So you've I got mean, I'm, a I'm 10, 10 inch big. tall. Full. Oh yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Okay, so that's all right. So now you, that, that adds okay? eighteen dollars. Add eighteen dollars to your total okay. there. All right. So we're at two thirteen. So we need the old battery pump. Yep, you need or, or do you want to do the manual pump? Whatever I mean, you get, it'll save you a dollar. What's a dollar what's point. a dollar worth to you when oh, you have five hundred of it? Batteries are not included though, so we gotta get so those. You gotta add a, a, a couple extra like an extra five bucks for that. That's all basically. Right. Okay. We'll so to, add just add fifteen then, because that'll include your batteries. Okay. So, so you're at two twenty eight. Okay. So do you need a sleeping bag? Do you need pillows? Do you need a blankie? Like what what makes you happy sleeping at night? So I think I'm gonna go with the old sleeping bag. Okay. Oh you're you're balling on a budget there, buddy. Yeah, well, yeah. That's a ten dollar one. You sure? Oh, yes. You sure you want the ten dollar one? Oh, of course. Okay. I mean, I guess you do have an air mattress. So how bad could it really be? Yeah, That'll it, provide you warmth, it can't be that comfort. You'll it, be good to go. It's pretty like light material. So you'll be good. Be you, don't, you don't want to be sweat. So you've got everything for for bedding. I'm at two thirty eight. So you've got a place to sleep for two hundred. You realize yes. what kind of hotel you could get for that? A pretty good. One. A pretty nice. Yeah, you could get a pretty nice, nice hotel. So then, oh, yeah. what's next up on your list? So you've oh, got your shelter. You still need yes. fire, water, and food. Yes. Well, here's fire. Okay, fire. Torch. You're getting a whole blow torch. Oh yeah. Whole blow torch because because we need five hundred dollars. Why not get a whole blow torch? You've got, got thirteen dollars. Okay. okay. All right, we're at two fifty one. Okay. And then probably just the little guy, right? I I've never know. actually used one of those for the torch. I've always used the blue bottles. Yeah, I don't which know. Which I don't really know. That's a different chemical. Okay, so that's a total of four plus thirteen, seventeen dollars. So we're at two fifty five. Two fifty five, okay. you got fire. So you've got so, shelter, yes. you got fire, yes. you need food and water. That's so, your next step. Well water, easy peasy. Yeah. Kabam. Why? You really got Why? The, you I got, got the short got the, end of the yeah, stick on this guy. Good. So this it's seventeen dollars. Okay. So what you're dealing, you still so two seventy two. Uh, still is like two hundred and thirty dollars. This is what are you gonna buy at this point? I feel like you can't even spend this amount of money at Walmart. So you've got water. So how are you gonna yeah. prepare your food? You still don't get food. You still have to catch or true. kill your food. Yes. So what are you thinking for that? I'm thinking the old pan. You just want a pan. Yeah. Okay. Slap you want a twelve inch or you want a, a ten inch? Which one? I mean, how big of a meal you think you're gonna be preparing here, bud? Probably the smaller one. You're probably the little small cast iron. The old ten and a half. For seven dollars. Okay. So you've got seven, cast seven. iron. So okay. you're what? Okay. What are you gonna be planning? I'm getting, my goal is going to be bluegill. Just I'm going to stick it on a stick and, and cook it. What I'll do you think? I'll probably just aim for frogs. That you seems are, the easiest. Everything this kid has going on for him is the easy. So in order to cook a frog in there and make it taste good, you're going to need oil, flour, yes. either milk or egg. That's pretty much it. You don't really need seasoning technically if you don't yeah. need if you don't need it. Which we have all this stuff at home. So let's say your oil, flour, just add five bucks. I feel like that's probably pretty close, and we can that's just fun. get it at home. Because right. the idea is you're you don't have to spend all the money here. It's what you could buy here. But if it's something I already have in my house and there's no reason to spend extra money. I'm not here to spend extra money on it. So you're good for everything cooking. Now, do you want utensils? Do you, you don't even have a knife yet. You don't have a knife. How are you going to, how are you going to clean this frog? You got, you need something for let, that. Let me show you. We're going to go for this guy. What $15 filet knife. This is like what I use actually like a decent filet knife sometimes like exactly. $15. We'll use it again some point. You think so? Sure. Why not? Okay. So then what else and do you need we'll, to prepare we'll your meal to skin, to skin your, your frogs with, or do they have actual, they might have, a, no, probably not. they might. 
They have a no, fish not. scale. No, not that quite. Not quite, quite the though. same. That's okay. That'll work. What you've got there, right yeah, in your hand, there, pal. That'll that'll probably get the job done. So you've got a way to yeah, clean that's... your frogs now. So that's fifteen plus four, nineteen dollars. Well, three hundred three. Okay, so you've got two hundred. Nope, one hundred and ninety seven left so, so you're ready to clean the frog but how exactly are you going to catch this guy how what do you think i mean we got there? lots of options uh, walmart's obviously got everything stocked up here so i mean technically we already have this combo true we did we we so, made a video i don't know a couple weeks ago or so where we bought a black max and used it so why am don't I you allowed to do that yeah yeah, yeah that's fine i already okay. i already said if we if there's something here but we already have it at home you don't need to rebuy again this isn't my money so i'm not trying to spend it if i don't need to so we do have a black max combo which is this guy right there which is 60 bucks we're at 263 now 363 or, now. yes i know how to reading read. stuff so then you're gonna need line still so yeah. okay so they've so, got right here that's that's you're gonna want break so add 13 dollars ish so add for some braid 13. which we already okay. have so and then you're gonna need a topwater frog. frog right one of these six bucks for one of these guys which again we already have at home so we don't need to buy again okay so you still have a hundred and you got it Eighteen dollars. There it is. One hundred eighteen dollars left. You have the most comfortable place to sleep. You have fire. You have a way to drink water, and you have yep. a way to catch food. So, you got it. what else do you need? I said break out the old twenty-two. I, you want to buy a gun? How, how much do you think that is? We, I mean, we can see what kind of pew pews they have here. All right, so I just went over to the pew pew counter. Looked the cheapest. It was a youth twenty-two. Was a hundred and twenty-nine dollars. Which how much do you have left? Uh, we have one eighteen. Well, we total, we're at three eighty-two. So you have one eighteen so left. So you're eleven dollars short. But since I'm a nice guy, I think I, I have the same pew pew that they had. Well, it's not the youth, but it's the same same style, same everything, same price. I have one at my house, and it's technically used. So if you were to go get it, it'd be about right. I mean, basically, he's over $10, but you could put half of your stuff back if you really wanted to. So I'm going to be nice, and he's going to get access to a 22 rifle to then shoot bullfrogs if for some reason his rod and reel system doesn't work. So your adventure sounds a lot more fun than mine. If I don't get food. You, I, I say, if you don't get food, I, I'm dead. That's for sure. All I know is I'm dead if he can't get food. So with that being said, our cart is absolutely jam packed. All sorts of things to go on a survival adventure. I get 50 bucks, he gets 500 bucks, and we've got our items. Time to get to surviving. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right, folks, well, we made it back to the house. We are now down at the pond. And we brought the old doggos with us. They're running around. You know, they're scaring our frogs and freaking bluegills right now, I guarantee it. Huh? Huh, Millie? What are you doing? Lucy, don't scare all the fish out just yet. We still got to catch... Oh, Millie's on freaking dragonfly duty. All right, well, I guess I'll see you later then. Anyway, we made it down to the pond. We are ready to get started. Uh, as you can see, the sun is about down yonder. So we're trying to hopefully get it done as quickly as possible. But given that there's only two of us and we're both in this video, um, it's going to take just a little bit longer to get it figured out because I got to film pool jet doing pool jet things and then pool jet's got to film me doing me things. So it's not like you, can, you can't do them both at once. We're going to have to do one and then the other. So what we're going to do to make it a little bit more interesting is complete each task of fire, water, food, and shelter each like back to back so you're gonna see me build a shelter then pull jet and then you're gonna see me get food and then pull jet get food and you guys can see kind of compare what happens when you got a bunch of money to try to get a task done versus a little amount of money we're gonna see who i mean there's not really like a challenge there's not like how quick you can do it. it's just you guys get to just watch me suffer while pull jet you get it easy i'm good so um first thing you got to do no matter what i've watched a lot of bear grills is not actually food and water it is shelter that is number one you have to have shelter because you're not gonna die in a day if you don't have food and water it's gonna suck but you're not gonna die so with that being said let's get to building the shelter starting off with old pool jet oh yeah you guys are gonna get the uh the old 10 person the 10, 10 person i'm gonna help him just so we can obviously uh get through this a little bit faster but we've got a 10 person tent set up i've never set up a 10 person tent didn't know 10 person tents existed i don't know why you can't just buy two tents why do you need one tent for 10 people i don't know but enjoy the timeline Shoo! Look at that tent. Pull that. Huge. This somebody literally could live in your sunroom right here let alone the actual tent itself go ahead and get, get give it a little look in there climb it in there we need a little perspective here so this is like without the rain fly i mean it's not well it is kind of cloudy i don't think it's supposed to rain or anything this is look at that look at this oh my gosh i can stand completely Shoo! up in here 
<laughs> Look this at this guy. Crazy. Dude, wow. you, literally, you're standing up six foot, like you got like a foot above your head, so it stands seven feet tall. You could, Melee, what do you think, bud? You Look how big in? this is. You want to go stay in there, buddy? You probably don't want to stay with me, do you? Where's your sister at? Where'd she go? Lucy, come here, Lucy. I see up there. Melee, what do you think, bud? There's so much room for activities in there, isn't there? Lucy is pretty active, but I think she's hunting. I don't know what she's hunting. She probably doesn't know what she's hunting, but. Look at this. Oh, got a little window. This is crazy. Yeah, you got windows here. You got windows there. Yeah. Like, you've got all sorts of gadgets and gizmos to keep you occupied throughout the night. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at this. Hey, hey. how you doing? Oh, this is You know what neat. we should do? I just, actually, I, I don't want to say it. I don't want to spoil it. Just came up with a video idea. It'll be between you and me for now. I think I know what you're gonna say. What are you, what are you thinking? Take a guess. Yes! How'd you know? <laughs> me and Pool Jet are on the same page. You guys, it was bleep for you guys. Gonna you say, did, we got the bleep. He's got the bleep. That's yeah. crazy. How, me and, me and Pool Jet are on telepathy mode right now because all of a sudden I was like, I know what we gotta do out of this thing. I mean, it's not anything crazy, but no, that's just crazy. that's funny. That's funny. Well, there you have it. Old Pool Jet's got his 10 man, him and Millie. And Lucy, you wanna go see what it's all about? Come here, Lucy. Come on, buddy. You wanna see what it's all about, buddy? What are you doing, puppy? Hey, get inside. You wanna go inside? Come on, Lucy, you got it. Millie, go in there. Go get him. Go get him, Millie. Look at that. Oh, and now they're booling. Oh, yeah. What up? You guys like it? Lucy, you like it? You guys went out? All right, they're already, they already left. See, the dogs can literally sleep here, and you guys can sleep in there. How about go, that? How about that? All right, old pool dread. He's getting oh, there he's go. getting her figured out here. Oh, oh rip. Oh, you got it. No, okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. You got the little adapter. That. That's, 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 that's pretty cool it that locks this. It right in. Like, that thing can blow something up. How's that feel? Leave that on. This feels great. It's hotter than heck out here. It's pretty loud. It's, it's pretty loud. All right, blow it up, buddy. Let's see it. Right oh God, yeah. Oh, she's getting oh, it. There it is. She's getting it. How's it looking? I'm scared to unplug it. You got it. You just have to. Oh. Oh, did it stop? I think really? it has a stopper inside. How about that? Right, give it the old. Give it the old. Uh, Shall I lay on it? See what it looks like. To get the test. It's, it's a little hot out for this. Is it? But, yeah. You got it. Now you got it. Oh, oh yeah. Comfy? Oh, this is nice. Yeah. You look good. Dude, look how many, like, oh, look yeah. how small he looks over there. You can literally put like three more over here. And you've got your sleeping bag, which you're not going to need probably, but you got it anyway. So congrats. Cause it's hot. Wow. This is so hot. It's so hot. But tonight it's supposed to be like 65. So I mean, you might want a little bit of a blankie. Maybe not, but you look good. You look good. Look at that. So you're shelter is complete you got your shelter sleeping bag if it does rain you could put your rain fly in so like technically it's considered like a, a full-blown shelter so old pool jet shelter is complete i don't think mine's gonna look anything like this i better get started all right so i'm gonna start off with i gotta do this quick unboxing here even though i got i got gypped a freaking knife out of the sink because somebody at walmart decided hey they needed this knife and couldn't pay the eight dollars that it costs hey whatever whatever you got going on in your life if you need an eight dollar knife then i guess you need an eight dollar knife but if i could you know what i need i need a knife to open my knife Knife is actually what I need right now. Maybe that's what he was getting it for. He stole a knife so he could unbox a different knife. Probably not. Okay, we're good. All right, so I'm unboxing this knife. So we got an extra fire starter. That's neat. And some point today, little knife. Ooh, she's pretty sharp. So we're gonna use this knife to unbox these other tools because I'm gonna use these guys. I'm gonna use these to build my fort for shelter. Oh God, yeah. I probably own at least seven of these throughout the, all the survival videos that I've done on this channel. Whoosh! Why not get another one? Okay, paracord, big factor. Pretty much I'm gonna need a, a knife, paracord, and this machete. And I think I can construct a decent survival shelter. Oh, I'll take this axe. Well, what's that axe good for? You ain't this this could probably chop a tree down better than that axe. What's that axe good for? I mean, I'll, I'll break it out and we'll try it, I guess. I feel like I could chop a tree down with this machete. Oh, really? I could have just put it, oh. Cause I'm smart, I could have just ripped this whole thing up. She's pretty damn good. All right, made it up to the tree. We got emergency blankets, paracord, some machetes or something. Come on, Millie, help me out. We got a, oh, I actually, I actually should not cut that one. That's a good branch, we don't need that one cut. So here's my plan. There's kind of this little tuck back area. Millie found it. And I'm gonna cut these lower branches out. Oh, that's a nice tree right there too. You might be able to utilize, hang on, what's this side look like? Does this side look better? I feel like that's a better hole. What do you think? Oh, actually it kind of is. A lot yeah. less cutting. Make a little door. I'm gonna trim off some limbs and then drape basically the emergency blankets and try to like fashion them with some paracord. So I'm gonna test this little ax thing out though. What? Right through it. Shoo. I, I did not expect that one bit. And then you can take your machete, clear your path. Start whacking some of these tree branches out. Come in here. I'm just gonna clean up some of these branches. It looks pretty good. It's like a back little cubby area. This grass, this machete's not that sharp. You can't really cut it down, so rip it out flatten her out oh god yeah you like this would you sleep in here pool jet sure 
You like this better than your spot? You want to trade? Lucy. Hi, right, bud. Lucy, you gonna sleep with me? You're a little bit smaller to cuddle with than Millie. Oh, you have about, I don't know if those are ticks, but you got about four trillion of them on you. Hey, you wanna watch out? I gotta finish building my fort. Honestly, there's really not that much to do. Do so you think if I like webbed? All right, so we got this paracord out. The idea, we got branches on each side of me. Millie, they're looking for mice right now. Lucy found a mouse and was just freaking out. All right, so the idea is going to be, hey, don't. Oh, she found another mouse. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tie a knot. <laughs> Saw Bear Grylls to do this once. No, he didn't do this. He would've came up with something better. Well, that tight. All right, and then run another one over here. And then another way where you don't have to ever cut your paracord either is you tie this knot so you take it and go over and around, pull it tight, and then do it again. Like that. Then you don't have to cut your paracord. And that way, when you want to undo it, you got a full thing of paracord. Just like that, see? Pull it tight, maybe do one more. Hey, what are you tweaking out for, buddy? All right, so pull it tight, tie it up, just like that. All right, so now, take your emergency blanket. All right, so take this. Oh God, this is fancy. Why did I buy five of these things? Hey, how you doing? Dude, this thing's neat. Probably go too wide if you really wanted to. Sure. Millie, oh. hey, what are you doing in there? Get out, you're gonna wreck it. Boys, I think we might have done it. We might have just done it with one blanket. Tell me this isn't the greatest survival shelter you ever did see, Millie. What do you think? Does this count as a shelter? I mean, I, mean, I got a roof over my head. I'd count. Lucy's in here with me. Which has to count for something. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna tighten this little this area up though. We gotta get this we gotta get this sitting a little bit higher. Boom. Boom. Like the freaking holiday inn, son. I think this is good. So we've got other emergency blankets. We honestly don't need to set these up. These could be used as side guards. You could put two more here. You could put one down to lay on so you're not sitting on the ground. But the reality is, this is a shelter. And if you take the cost of the paracord, which is two bucks, and you take the cost of these things, which was $2, I think? Wasn't it like 2 and 90 or something like that? Yeah, it was almost three. So this is a, like less than a $5 shelter four dollar shelter so i didn't i wasted money on these i'm sure i could find another use maybe not i mean i guess i could always make it a little bit better it's i mean it's better for freezing temperatures and stuff like that so either way shelter complete folks now on to the next task all right folks well my shelter it's killing it over there and then you got you got pool jets but uh pool jet is now on food duty which right. you're going with the top water frog for a frog so this is the combo that was available at walmart we factored the price in it was like 40 bucks plus a frog plus some line already ready to rock and roll uh now he could catch a bass on it and do that let's see what's the water temp there bud but ideally you're going to try to go for a bullfrog so now we need to be on bullfrog lookout duty which millie and lucy took it upon themselves to uh walk the edges of the pond and probably scare everything in sight so wish us luck oh god you got big bullfrog coming at you He's curious. He's thinking about it. He's keeping his distance. Oh, 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 got, oh, oh, wait, wait, no, wait. He's thinking about it. You could probably pop him with the old pew pew that you bought if you want. You think so? Give her, give her one more cast. If not, just smoke him with the old pew. Going right to him. Oh, yeah. He's going right to him. Oh. Oh. Get it, set it. I got him. There oh, oh, he came oh. off. No, no, no. Rip. You got him. You got him. Oh, you got him. Oh. You got him. You got him. Hold Jimothy. Millie. I was trying to, the reason why I was walking up is I was trying to keep the dogs away because they kept running around getting all tangled. Oh, do not let him go. Oh God. Oh God. Oh. Jimothy. Jimothy. Get him, Millie. <laughs> get him, Lucy. Get him, Lucy. Lucy. I got oh. him. Oh God. Oh. Oh God, oh, rip. You get off the hook that fast. That's exactly why I was staying far away. So I was staying back there trying to keep the dogs away. Pool Jet was making parallel casts. Woo! He's like, I think I got one coming. So I was trying to casually walk up without making these dogs follow me. You know, they're good for some things, but bullfrog hunting. Ain't it? Well, you got him. You got old Jimothy on there. Lucy's very excited. Oh. Lucy, that's dinner for Pool Jet. So he's got his food taken care of for the night. I got to rig up my contraption to hopefully catch a bluegill. You guys stay tuned. All right, so Pool Jet, he's got dinner. That guy, he's, he's chilling for now. Now it's my turn to try to catch dinner. Now I didn't buy any fishing line, even though I probably could have figured out how to do it, but what you may or may not know is look at all those little baby strands that paracord's made out. So what you can do is you can take this little sleeve off and one of these strands is, I mean, probably the equivalent of like 90 pound braid, but for fishing, 
it'll work as fishing line. So go ahead and strip it down. If you ever need like string that's not as strong as paracord, like you, it's not necessary for really strong, you could always take this down and make your paracord go a lot further. Cause this is like 10 strands or eight strands of the same length. So whatever this was, 500 feet or something, you've got like eight or 10 of them. So basically just gonna work on stripping these guys down. This should, I think one of them will honestly work for probably what I need. Cause I don't have a reel. Obviously you don't need a ton of line. My plan is to tie a hook onto it, throw the worms that I bought, those little red wigglers. And I might get a stick that way I can kind of like do like a fly fishing motion in a sense and basically try to uh try to catch myself a little bluegill i'm not sure if it'll go well pool jet he didn't seem to have too much trouble getting that that bullfrog you did spend like 150 was it 120 bucks how much was the gun 110 120, 120. which you didn't need so no. you could have bought a lot of other things but you you made you wanted extra security so you were able to get it done with the rod and reel i'm hopefully going to get it done with some paracord and a little worm Boom! Look at all this line. Look at all of that. That is, if you tied all that together, I bet. Shoot, I don't know. Probably 100 yards or so. I mean, that's a lot of line. So, we're gonna get one strand tied up, get the hook on, and get to dang. Really? Oh, that was way too much work. Yeah, I got my fishing pole. That's gonna be the old dangler stick right there, boys. This bark's actually gonna make good kindling too. Make sure to hang on to this. All right, so now the question is how long? I think I got this. I'm gonna make a fly rod. All right, that's the old dangle stick 3000, I think is what they call that. Let's get a worm on it. Oh God, that's gotta catch one. Come on, big chunkus. Oh. Oh, we got one. Whoa. We got, oh, he's just a baby though. Hey, it worked. He's just a guppy though. I don't think you can, there's not much meat to this guy, huh? You gonna do sushi? We'll throw him in the, the boat that's got water in it as like a little live oil and try to catch a bigger one. This is like a last resort. If I gotta eat this guy, then I'm gonna be pretty hungry. Maybe. Yep. He took my worm. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Boots are going up, fresh worms going on. And I'm going out into the deep. Oh yeah, we're kidding. I could just stand on this point. I'm an idiot. Got him. Oh, what the heck? Where's all the freaking bacons at? We're in the dang nursery over here, boys. Good thing I like sushi. Jimothy. Gotcha. Boom. Oh yeah, that, guy, that last guy was a little bit bigger. There's dinner, boys. Hey, I didn't say I was gonna eat a lot. I just got something. Well, folks, now it's time to start a fire. We've got food, shelter, and you fire, and then water. So we did do a little bit of cheating here. We got these little fire logs because it has been raining cats and dogs for the last couple days. As you can tell, it rained a dog right there. She's she's just hanging out. I don't know what she's doing. She's taking a nap. But it rained like crazy. There's no chance whatsoever there's any dry wood around here. I have um, some of the paracord, cardboard, paper, and stuff like that from basically all the unwrapping and stuff so i'm gonna try that but then you got old pool jet that's got uh got the old torch you give her heck buddy let me see how this works yep. i mean i think that's enough think it'll keep her going i don't know so this might not work i like there's literally no dry wood around here that's, that's kind of the problem so if you can't get yours with a blowtorch i am You're absolutely screwed. screwed there's no chance it's not looking good for you buddy how's this thing work I don't, I'm, I'm kind of confused now. Because if yours isn't working, then mine's definitely not working. Kind of waiting to see, I don't know. Yeah, it has yet to start on fire yet. Yeah, that's the best pool jack could come up with a blowtorch. Does not make me feel good. He got a little bit of cardboard, a little bit of grass, but those logs don't burn like traditional logs. I don't really know what they're good for. This right here is part of this, no, it's part of the dangle dinghy, I think. But this thing's just been laying out, which is, this is wood. And then I've got some cardboard here. I don't really know what the plan is here. All I know is I'm just getting smoked out. I found a couple extra pieces of wood though right here that were laying around. So I think I'm just gonna kinda I'm gonna make a base. Get some cardboard. Take some of this out. I don't expect a whole lot. Like this thing is literally soaking wet, but I don't know if I've genuinely started a fire with a flint with like no extra help of any kind. Start with this, throw some string down. You've got this, which I believe is a magnesium strip. This stuff. These papers started on fire. I think I've got confidence. Hang on. Mm -hmm. That's probably a knife sharpener because your magnesium's on this. I don't know. 
You want help? Get that, get that cardboard. Oh God. No, why does this paper not burn? I had a flame. Oh God. Okay, all right. That might be my first ever fire start with a flint. Keep feeding it before it goes out. I'm gonna get some more grass. There we go. Woo! Let's go, baby. I mean, I started a fire. I just eat sushi, drink pond water. I completed all the steps. No, I don't think it'd be quite as hot if you didn't sit next to the fire. Look at the fire. It's getting now, boys. We're good. Working, doing that fire worked me, worked me up a thirst. I worked up a thirst or something. You got a life straw. And my plan was to take this guy and boil water. The problem is I don't think this is uh, metal. It said it wasn't even good for dishwashers, so probably not. I, and at this point, I don't have the energy. I don't think our fires are good enough to boil and then cook. So we're just going to go down to the pond and drink a nice cup full of uh, healthy algae filled pond water. And then we'll just, he's got a life straw, so he won't die. I will. Oh yeah. Do, yeah. Get, get you all, get it all dirty there for you. Just, it's supposed to filter it you, out. Right? No, you got it. You got it. Lucy's coming to help you out. Oh God. Tastes like water. It's not bad. No. Really? I mean, I don't know if it filtered anything out. Yeah, well, you'll probably die. You'll be all right. That's okay. All right, thanks, Millie, for making this muddy. Um, you want me to get you a scoop out here? Yeah, I got it. Ooh, ew, ew. Did your not taste like ass? That tasted terrible. Yep, I'll die of dehydration. That tastes like shit. All right, so I cut this tree down here. I'm gonna make a, well, I'm gonna attempt to make. Let's see how long we're dealing with. Well, that's pretty close. We're gonna make a little roast rack here. What you wanna do is stick one of these on one side of the fire. There you go. Okay. Oh yeah. A little rotisserie action. Bony apple feet, son. It'll cook. What do you call that? That's the old doohickey. Right? Oh God, I'm getting murked over here. Boom. All right, Jimothy, your turn. So originally, Pool Jet bought stuff to fry. Got the pan, the flour, the oil. Problem is our fires are not, I mean, mine's getting there, but it takes a long time to fry. Um, and basically he's a big fan of frog sushi as well. So yeah, it's a big sushi guy. It's just easier to just do what I did at this point. So he's gonna go ahead and clean this frog up. You guys already kind of know how to do this. Cut the, you, you guys get the idea. We'll show you the finished product. Boom. I don't know what you call that, but. Frog leg on a stick, my guy. So you're going old, uh, roast the old marshmallow a uh, strat, huh? Yeah. Is that the deal there? So you're just gonna sit here and let her dangle. Well, mine look about done. Shoo! Hey, we're not eating sushi, folks. Oh God, yeah. That's the old filet mignon. A little crispy. Golden crispy. Or something like that. Well, I'm gonna attempt to uh, filet some meat off these guys. Oh, this ain't gonna work. Oh, snap. Oh, boys, I might have figured it out. Hang on. How's this view? So, skin's peeling right off, actually. Oh, I think this is edible. This might be edible. Look at that right there. Well, I'm gonna go in for a little bite here. That was a scale. Hang on. I'm gonna get some meat here. Right there. Tastes about as good as that pond water. There's another piece right here. It does fall right off the bone, though. I mean, it's really not that bad. Really? You want a bite? You want a fish? It's hot. It's hot. You probably won't like it. I mean, it's not too bad. Hey, I just work on better than I thought. Really? It'll keep you alive. Maybe like 50 of those a day. You won't die. How's yours looking over here, Junior? I think we're about done. Really? That is about the appealing. least appetizing thing I've but ever look, seen in my life. Look at the meat. It looks. I mean, it looks cooked. It try the looks... nut. Try the little nug on there. That's kind of your. That's your go-to spot. Oh, it's probably pretty hot. Yeah. It's pretty hot. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. We're not to let this. Cool let off it cool off there, for a little yeah. bit. All right. <laughs> was it done? I mean, Millie, what do you think? You think it's done, buddy? Yeah, if I had a guess. <laughs> oh God, no, it's not done. Really? It's not, you want to give it a try? No, I'm alright. I, tr I trust your judgment. Yeah, no. What do you think, Millie? Not about it. I don't think. Oh, you'll see, she don't like it either. It, so that wasn't that was raw, raw, it raw was, frog pie. Raw. I mean, it probably there was zero flavor. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. like it just it was it taste did, was good. it chewy like super oh, chewy? Oh, it was mush. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, that's not good. No. Rip. But you wouldn't die. No, I mean, you could eat it, I'm sure. 
but I mean, I wouldn't personally. Well, folks, there you have it. That is the Millie. Hey, wait, no, no, no. She, look at her. She's eating these. This is gross. You want to sit? You got to sit. No, you didn't sit, so you don't get it. Well, folks, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Cheap versus Expensive Survival Challenge. Both of us completed the mission in like, like two hours or so. It wasn't too bad. Built a shelter. Built a shelter. Started a fire. Started a fire. Drank water and ate food-ish. The water was better than the food. Me, see, honestly, I'd rather have my bluegill than the water. Really? My bluegill is not that bad, honestly. Like, if you guys are really in a survival situation, throw the, throw the whole thing on the freaking fire and just peel the skin back and munch. It didn't have a bad taste it just didn't have a lot of flavor to it but it really wasn't that bad but if you guys enjoyed today's episode let me know in the comment section down below do you want to see more cheap versus expensive survival videos maybe cheap versus expensive camping video cheap versus expensive literally anything any type of 1v1 cheap versus expensive type of thing um where somebody gets a really big budget somebody gets a small budget and goes out and does a challenge if you guys like these videos let me know in the comment section down below remember if you guys want any beefcake merch links down below go check it out we got hats we got t-shirts hoodies bunch of other stuff and if there's other products that you guys want to see that we don't have let me know in the comment section down below but promo code FLAIR gets you 15% off your entire purchase at GugansWad.com, which is where you can find your beefcake. Link down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much. And peace.